All right, we're going to pick up where we left off in the last video. We were hiding our section view. So we are going to click on the item, right click, say hide in view, and for this we'll just do this element. So there that goes away. So if we double click away, it will reactivate the drawing. Or you can right click and say deactivate view. So you notice that the marker is kind of far away from it. So if to move the marker, I'm going to simply click on the marker and then I can drag it. It should line it up with the bottom one. There you go. And then click on the view to make it smaller. And actually drag this over a little bit. And then same thing, I can click and line that up. All right, so there is my east elevation. Move that up a little bit so I can fit in my north. So I'm going to go ahead and grab my other elevations for my elevation views. Go ahead and put that there. So same thing, I want to line them up so they look like they are essentially a projection. Click on my north, move this over till it snaps with the other ones, and then click on the view to short. Super important that you have things look neat, organized. Again, that's what we're going for with doing these drawings, especially at the beginning level, so the next stage you have them. All right, so I'm going to add the other two views and then come back. So now we have east, north, west, and south. I have all of my four elevations. I've got my floor plan. I'm going to go ahead and add a 3D view, so same thing. Your 3D view comes over as whatever it is at the current. So if you've been in that 3D view and you're rotating it around, I always do my 3D view, kind of mess around with it, come to the drawing so it's locked in how I want to see it. So same thing, I want to clean up that. And the last piece I'm going to leave over on the right hand side is room for my section view. We'll drag that over. And again, we were really good about setting up the scale ahead of time so our text doesn't get all messed up when we bring it in. That's super important. So go ahead and move that up a little bit. And then move the icon closer and make it a little smaller. If we want, we could move this over a little bit to give it a little more room. Again, I like to keep all my names lined up. So. All right, and that pretty much matches the drawing that you should have been given. So the only other thing I'd want to do is add my name down to project number. If you want to put utility shed, you can just double click and somewhere on there should be your name. You're going to submit this for grading so I know whose it is. So under author, you could do the correct date. If you can get a hold of author, there we go. All right, so there's our drawing. So now we have successfully made a shed. We've done a cross section through the exterior wall, elevations, floor plan, and your 3D view. So the next activity you'll get to move on to then is a playhouse.